everybody. It's Kelly and Merry Christmas in October. I think I told you when I did my last one that I had one more Christmas layout coming up to finish up 2017 and this is it. So I am going to take that little peppermint stripe paper and I'm going to mount that photo of my two grandsons um, laying in bed. The little guy is sleeping on his older brother. Or, well, he's not really sleeping. He's kind of awake and just hugging on him. The, his older brother is actually sleeping. And my stepson uh, posted this to Facebook and he um, titled it, Wake Me Up When It's Christmas. So I thought that would be really a cute title for a layout. It's just a sweet photo of them together. So that candy cane, um, or not candy cane paper, but the um, peppermint paper is ew, something that I didn't write down, guys. So I don't know what that is, actually. Oh, yes, I do. It's the um, Pebbles Mary Mary peppermint paper, sorry. The word pattern paper that I'm mounting this on is a um, crate paper peppermint collection, um, and it's a St. Nick paper, and that is probably seven years old. I've never used it before, but I love how this worked with the um, with the I, I guess it's a very busy background and I think the reason that this is successful is first of all there's a very high contrast between the green and the red background paper so your eye is definitely drawn to that so that's a big thing I think to look at first of all when you're trying to use that a busy background paper is you need something of a high contrast to draw your eye to the photo otherwise you're obviously going to lose the photo in that um, you lose it in the background so that green paper I don't have the name of it it's an L studio paper from I believe the joyful collection which is probably three years old at least it might be even four the other thing I think that is helping this be successful is that I'm also using high contrast lettering on top of the green paper as well. So now you see how that's kind of sitting and look at how that Christmas really pops off that green background so it really calls your eye to it and because we read left to right, at least in English speaking countries we do, um, we are going to look left to right naturally. So you see that high contrast green paper and on top of that you have the contrast of the white. So you read the word Christmas and it brings you right to the photo. Also kind of helping this are the white sheets so that's drawing you to the dark, very dark photo um, just because this was morning. So right now I'm putting that little border sticker on there and that border sticker is from the Crate Paper Peppermint Collection again and it's just the border stickers, the accent stickers. The foam alpha there is from American Crafts Thickers, and those are, that is the daiquiri font, and that is in white. So this photo, or this layout, besides being about the really sweet photo, the big embellishing on this is really going to come from my title. And right now, I'm looking to find some letter stickers that will work here. I'm going to go to these L Studios, the letters and number sheet in white. And I'll use my the, the straight edge of that green paper and then also the um, wax paper. That's what I want, the word I want. Words are hard today. Um, the wax paper there to help me line all that up. And I'm going to spare you the having to watch me do this whole title with the magic of um, editing. Okay guys, I'm back and my title is basically mostly done here. Um, I'm going to come back later. You can see that I don't really have the E's done properly and that's because I didn't have enough E's. So I'm going to use F's and I'll come back I believe when this is all over and add in the bottom of that. I just cut up another letter and did that. So that is one of the ways that you can, when you're missing a letter, you can, I call it MacGyvering letters, you can MacGyver things to make um, another letter. And that MacGyvering term comes from Sarah Swan originally. All right, so I want something up in the top there. 
of the layout, and I'm sorry that this is a little low here. I want something up in the top just because it, there's a little bit too much space at the top, even though it's all words. Um, again, reading left to right, if I have something in the left corner, it will really help on a diagonal, get your eyes to go to the left with the um, kids there. So I'm going into my stash of El Studio die cuts, my Christmas die cuts. I keep all these together, all my Christmas embellishments together in an iris container with a tray in it. So I'm going to go back here and I found this um, little piece that said, Dear Santa, I've been naughty nice um, this year and it's a little check off. So I thought that was cute since it's right before Christmas. I was thinking about using that little piece of the border sticker, but I decided not to. And then I found that little um, L Studio die cut that says so cozy because they are obviously looking very cozy there. And as I was looking for stickers, I found this little sticker from last year's December um, documented kit from L Studio that says blank days until Christmas. And since the whole theme of this is um, wake me up when it's Christmas, I think that is kind of a cute thing to do. All right, so now I'm going to go to my puffy stickers here. And those are uh, from Pebbles. I don't know what collection it is, but uh, all the um, peppermint, um, little, not the little peppermints, the ho ho ho, the ho ho's are from Pebbles. So I have two ho ho's and then I'm adding in these little peppermint enamel shapes, and those came from the American Crafts uh, Holiday Enamel Stickers. I don't think that's the collection they came from. I don't think that was named Holiday. But again, these are a couple years old. Using what I have. Of course, I just went and bought a December documented kit, so I can only say that too much. Or only not too much. I can't say that too much. All right, so I added a peppermint sticker in each of those there. Toying with adding it to the side of the title there, but decide not to do that. And just add it back into the So Cozy there. I went back and forth on which peppermints to use here quite a bit. See, I am. <laughs> going back and forth. All right, guys, upcoming is a still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'm done with my Christmas scrapbooking. Bye!